Okay, so this is the new Raspberry Pi AI camera, and as you can see, it comes supplied with two cables. The smaller one you can see on the right here is the one that fits the Raspberry Pi Zero, and also fits the Raspberry Pi 5 as well. And the bigger connector is for all the other Raspberry Pis, so like the original Raspberry Pi, and also like my Raspberry Pi 4 here. When they say all Raspberry Pis are supported, they don't mean the Raspberry Pi Pico. It doesn't have a camera interface. Not entirely sure what this bit is, I think it's just for protection for travelling. So when it's connected to the camera, the darker part should be on the back side of the camera, as you can see here. And if we spin it around, so you can see the exposed connections on the front. And so when I'm putting it into my Raspberry Pi 5, I need to put it in this way around. You can see the exposed bit on this side, make sure it's nice and straight. So I plugged it into my Raspberry Pi 5, uh, although because this has got the AI chip on board, it does take a lot of the strain off some of the older Pis, so you could definitely use a much older Raspberry Pi and still have use of the AI because so much of the load is being taken off because of this camera. So let's go to the desktop. So I've already installed the necessary to get the camera up and running. This is Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, and if we open a terminal, and we can use rpi-cam hello as a command and you can see that it wakes up and I've definitely noticed that um, things need to be a bit further away so on my desk this is ever so slightly out of focus it's hard to tell on this screen but um, it's ever so slightly out of focus things need to be a little bit further away you see my cats look great uh, you know they're in more of a sweet spot and everything beyond that looks looks really good as well now if I close this down and uh, let's put something else in here. Lib camera works as well, so you can use either and, uh, and it will work with the camera. But I have noticed that it's not an autofocus camera, so you can see if I hold something up in front of it, it's not changing, but it's not on autofocus at the moment. But if I tell it uh, one of these, so continue autofocus, it tells me unrecognized option. And obviously a lot of this will be used in uh, workplaces and machinery and things like that. And it's, it's recognizing things on the screen. So if we go back to my cats, here we go. So what I think I'm going to have to do is set it up looking at my television in the lounge uh, so that I can keep showing different images on the screen and see how well the recognition works. Because I think with this, the cats are probably a bit too far away and they're quite small cats. So the examples that are included are in the Pi camera folder. In examples, there's this particular camera, so IMX 500. And you can see if we open this with Gini and then hit run. So what it's doing now is uploading the firmware to the little chip on the camera. So obviously it needs to know what it's trying to search for in the sensor. Here we go, and you can see it's picked up sliding doors, well that's kind of correct. Patio, terrace, yeah, that's, that's there. Uh, window, so something like window theatre, shade. I think chair comes up every now and then as well. And if I want to try one of the other demos, let's try, I think this is the one that puts a window around things and also names them as well. So if we run that, again it's uploading the latest bit. Let's go full screen with this one. And you can see how far it's got. So full screen, let's just click on it. You can see it's picked up my uh, little deconstructed Game Boy Color here as a TV. And it's picked my desk up as a dining table, but uh, you know, that's fair enough. It does look like a table. And it occasionally picks up this, thinking, it, thinking it's a cell phone. Obviously, the thing here we're looking at is the detection and how quick it detects things. So is that going to look... It's a bit of an unusual looking mouse, isn't it? If I put that on the, on the desk, does it look more like a mouse? Yeah, it did pick up mouse just for a second there. But also, if I put this in front of it... <laughs> it's funny, it thinks it's a cat. But as we get a bit closer... Uh, it does say, oh, it says dog and cat. It was saying brown bear the other day. There you go, bear. Maybe it's one of the other ones because there's loads of them on here. 
So if I close that one down, but you can see the speed that it's detecting it is really impressive. So let's close all this and let's try this one. And run that. Okay, so cat's cow, dog, starting to say it's a bear. Now it's saying it's a bear, look. And it is in focus on my iPad. This one is a different one as well. This seems to detect surfaces. So it's picked up the cat tree here and it also picks up my handler and it puts like a layer on it. Not sure why the colors are different for different items. So that is green. Is this gonna be purple? That's green as well. Yeah, it's weird that that's purple and, and nothing else is. But maybe this is used in factories for machinery and things like that to see uh, if an object has changed or if the status of something has changed. And if I go in the shop, I am the Hulk. Oh, over here. And my cats would be green if they were moving around. And what happens to the bear? See, it recognises it differently because it's the screen. Different colour, though, so it's coming up grey. And if we navigate through all these folders, you can see there's loads of demos and tests and all sorts of things you can play around with and manipulate. And to install it all, if we go to the Raspberry Pi website, so Raspberry Pi documentation, and if we put in AI camera, you can see the AI camera comes up. And it's all in here, so the Sony IMX imaging sensor. And this is what I had to do to install, so sudo apt update, and then sudo apt install the IMX 500-all, but I also installed the examples, and you can see there's some things you can copy and paste in here, so RPI cam hello, object detection, and oh yeah, the pose, so this one, so if we copy that, control alt t and paste that in. So if I move back into the shot, you can see that it's picking up my arms and everything, and uh, Everything is, is nice and quick to operate, so it's very, very accurate. And coping with that nicely. And the Pi 2 camera GitHub repository. So if you want to install all of these as well, so I use this command, git clone, pycamera.git, and then to run it, you've got to CD into the folder if you're doing it in terminal. Obviously I was doing it with folders just now. So we paste that in. So now we're in that folder, and then to run any of them, you would basically just run this line. And again, it loads the firmware into the camera itself, so it's taking the load off the Pi. And the little Raspberry Pi chip is this one. You can see it just says RP there. And that's up and running, and if I grab a cat, then it will detect a dog and a cat. So the strong thing definitely with Raspberry Pi is, you know, that all this documentation, all this information is just super useful. And if we go to the specs, so if we go hardware, AI camera, so if we scroll down, we've got 12.3 megapixel Sony sensor with neural network accelerator. So two by two bins, 20, 28 by 15, 20 at 10 bit, 30 FPS. Full resolution, 4056 by 3040, 10 bit, 10 frames per second. It's a 7.85 millimeter sensor. So that's the bit behind the lens that captures the image. The bigger the sensor, the more light that it captures. Pixel size, 78.3 degree field of view with manual mechanical adjustable focus. Oh, okay. Uh, I've just thought that's what this is for. So you can see on this, there's actually little sort of cogs to be able to turn the lens. So that must be focus. So if I start the camera, so RPI cam, hello. So now if I turn it here, let's get ET close. So out of focus at the moment. So I'm gonna put that on and does it let me twist it? It's twisting. How far does it twist? Quite far. 
Now there you go. So turning it anti-clockwise basically means that it, it is giving you like a macro mode. That's really quite close, but nicely in focus. Oh, and it just ended. Let's start that again. Yeah, so very detailed. And we've got a nice depth of field, so you can see the background is out of focus. Makes for a more dramatic shot. That's going to be better for when I was doing my iPad, but I think what I'm going to do is move to my telly in the lounge and just put some videos on there and see what it detects. Okay, so this is a bit of a precarious setup, but this is my TV. I'm airplaying from my iPad so I can put images on the screen. And I've hung my Raspberry Pi from my tripod <laughs> uh, and I've got my screen capture device set up. Right, so you can see that it thinks that is a bear. It can see it's a car. It thinks, it thinks the images are a book, but if I get it images, so if we put cars on here, then you can see that it's picking up some of the cars. And as I zoom in and move around, it's picking up, even, even that one in the car park, it's picked up. Look, that's quite clever. Is it picking up the person there? I guess the dress is throwing it off maybe, but it's, yeah, it's picking up as a person. Right, let's see what happens with video. Office tour. Let's try Google's headquarters. Now obviously it's going to be all about what it's trained on, but you can see it's picking up things very quickly. Picked up the train straight away there. Uh, it called that a train as well. Is it going to pick up these boats? It was trying to. Yeah, it is, it is impressive. It's very, very quick and very responsive. And obviously it depends on what you train it on as to what it's going to pick up. So if you haven't trained it on cranes, it's not going to pick up cranes. But all of this is fully customizable. Okay, super impressive. And thanks very much to Raspberry Pi for sending me this to test. I'm sure I'll be playing around with it a lot more. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.